Es wird noch... fans and what what our new fans will hear on this next album is exactly what we are it is it is the truth for two months and it has felt like forever because we've been spending lots of time in here i think the the absolute truth is that the songs are just more worked out than on our previous albums i actually f forced the ideas out of myself you know i i i know that we have a lot of fans and i certainly don't want to uh, disappoint them so we have tried to give our fans what we you know consider to be that what the next typo negative album should sound like is the mic okay because i can microphone away yes. how is how is the songwriting actually been done on this album like is, is uh, peter composing something and presenting it to you or did you write songs on your own no peter does all the writing on the album i think this time it was a little different because as we were going, there was more writing occurring simultaneously, as well as more pre-planned stuff. The next video you're about to see is One Mind from one of my favorite bands, St. Vitus. I suppose that you were dumped by a girlfriend and that led you to write this album. So what was it like to, to did you memorize certain moments of, of pain? Yes, I did also. I mean, I don't just write from, from my own life. I, I also take the pain of others. And sometimes if I'm devoid of an idea, I'll just borrow their misery. And I'll write about that. It's all we have. I forgot the rest of the words. Is it that you pull yourself backwards from, from, from women and, and get more protective? No, actually, and the problem, I think, and not just for myself, but uh, for the rest of the band, is that this has become a full-time job, even, even more than a full-time job, where sometimes we spend up to 20 hours per day working with the band. We just don't have time for girlfriends or even to uh, fulfill some of the other responsibilities we have. Das ist scheiße! And I'd like to introduce uh, a video by... In, in the first moment, they sound a little more positive than the last record. Am I, am I wrong as far as that goes? I think you're correct. I mean, I'm, I'm certainly not as angry as I was uh, five or six years ago simply because I don't think that, that I'm the same person that I was. I have, I've certainly grown, I hope, up, not down.
when you were start starting with the recordings for this album, um, was there anything like some um, commercial pressure you were having, like sounding, making this album sound really huge? I don't think commercial pressure. I think, you know, naturally a band following up a successful album will feel pressured, but not, you know, to go towards any particular sound. I think we still did what we would have done under any circumstances. Let's get into it, man. You changed somehow from, like, the enfant terrible, whatever, like, being really portrayed badly in press to personality of the year in almost every magazine. What do you think is the reason for that? Uh, I think the open-mindedness of, of our fans, and I think that once people actually read into my interviews and read into my lyrics that I was not the person that the media had, had made me out to be. I don't think it's, it's because we're, we're talented or because we're good-looking. I think it's just because we're in the right place at the right time. And we, we generate income for tabloids and for news shows and for anyone else who wants to write about or videotape type of negative. When I was a teenager back in the 1940s, one of my favorite bands was ACDC. This is Highway to Hell. We'll be doing some small headlining shows uh, to try to get intimate with our fans and, you know, try to meet them. When you play these festivals and there's 50 or 100,000 people, you never really get to speak to your fans or to meet them at all. It's just, it's just a, a sea of flesh. There is no rain like a battle desire. There's no difference between Zeba when not Zeba fire. When Prince is spirit, they are the place. different from typo negative on a recording it's a completely different uh, it's a different way to paint a picture you know just because we can't do you know 150 tracks live doesn't mean we're not going to do them in the studio the album title um, it's tentatively titled October Rust what's like behind that first and foremost we liked the way the word sounded October Rust it has a nice ring to it uh, what it means to me is leaves falling off of a tree in autumn. I love October. I love autumn. I love the woods. I like to chase women around in the woods. So there are some songs about that as well. And I like when they chase me around too. <laughs> 